Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I wanted to show you just how easy it is to, to make your homemade short crust pastry for the air fryer. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Now, even though I might call it short crust pastry, I know in the US you might refer to it as pie crust. Note that they're one of the same. And the greatest thing about this pastry is that you can use it in so many different recipes in the air fryer. Think um, deep fried Oreos, Mars bars. You can use it to make quiche with homemade sausage rolls the list just goes on and on i mean i even use it for a topping in the pies that i make for the air fryer as well so it's just one of those brilliant go-to recipes that you can make sweet or savory and of course there's just two ingredients plus water making it so so easy for you to make at home There's two ingredients that you always find in it, and that is the flour and the butter. Room temperature butter's best. It's fine to use salted butter if you're doing it savoury, but if you're doing a sweet pastry, you want unsalted. And then I also recommend enough water so that you can bind it together. Now, those are what you would expect in a basic pastry, but let's say you're doing savoury, then what I would also recommend adding is some sort of mixed herbs. Bouquet Garni works well. Um, so does general mixed herbs, Italian seasoning, anything like that, and salt and pepper. So if you're going doing savoury, go down that route. If you're making sweet pastry, then what I recommend you do instead is, as well as the flour, the butter, and the water, is that you also add 28 grams or one ounce of caster sugar to it and this is the caster sugar that i recommend you use and then for flowers i recommend you use the bureau brand so plain flour if you don't want any oomph to it i say oomph because if you use self-raising flour instead what it does is it puffs it up a bit so it makes it more like puff pastry and then also if you're going sweet what you can also add is you can add some dried seasonings of choice as well such as my favorite is to add some cinnamon nutmeg uh, some ground spice all of those work well in baking or you could even use some ginger if you're doing some baking at christmas time the choice is just totally yours and of course this is a great alternative to puff pastry and we'll be showing you how puff pastry compares in a little while so now i've run through the ingredients let's make some pastry I'm going to demo first uh, it's just some savoury pastry. So what you want to do is you want to grab a large mixing bowl and then load into it your flour. There's 225 grams of flour there. And then you want to add in your butter. And then once you've added in these two main ingredients, I'm doing savoury here, so I'm going to be adding in some bouquet garni. And I'm also going to be adding in some salt and pepper. And then once you've done those, it's ready for the butter uh, to be rubbed into the flour. And then just simply get your hands in. I always cover the butter a bit with the flour because otherwise it just sticks to me. And look, you can mix up the seasoning. So let's say um, you're, you're doing something a little different, like maybe salmon on croup, then you could add some dill to it instead. You know, you can use parsley, basil, oregano, no matter what. 
you can mix it up. Um, any of our air fry baking recipes on recipethis.com where we've made pastry is using this recipe. So it's handy to have it. And of course, you can make it into a ball and then you can load it into the freezer and you can save it for another time. So it's perfect for make ahead, for Christmas, for when you're doing the sausage rolls. You can even use it in the American recipe for pigs in a blanket, which if you're British, you've probably not heard of it. Basically, it's not the same as our pigs in blankets. It's where it's like a little sausage, like a cocktail sausage that's wrapped in pastry and it's just yummy. So there you go, the flour and the butter are nicely mixed in now. So it's time to add in some water. I'm terrible at measurements with this. I just kind of add enough until it's made a good pastry. So um, I recommend that you just have a little cup next to you uh, with the water and then you can gradually add it in. And then it's really sticking to me. So I'm going to add in some extra flour. And then you can also flour your hands as well. Just to help combine it all. And then you can kind of give it a bit of a knead as you're mixing it in the bowl and then kind of lose your bowl. So as you can see, we've pretty much got up all the crumbs there. So it's just perfect. And then like I've shown you before, a bit of flour. And there you have it, that's a perfect air fryer dough. Just ideal for using in so many different things, you know, and we'll also be showing you some other videos of how we use it as well. So do check out our other videos. And, you know, you can also search our sites uh, for pie crust and you'll see all of the recipes there that we've used using this dough. So, to a clean worktop, add your flour, and of course, flour your hands as well, and then place your um, place your dough there. Do your dough on your rolling pin, and let's get rolling it out. What you can do is you can make a few, and then you can, as your ball gets smaller, you can just roll a few more out with it. I'm not really sure where I got um, this from. I've just had it forever. Um, I think it could have been Amazon, but it's just been one of my favorites for a long time for being able to quickly um, do the pastry with. And then once you've rolled it out enough and you've got a decent size and you can go in with this so what you do to cut it to size is you would place it in there for when you're doing your pastries and then you can just do it at the bottom like that wiggle it around and then let me show you it's then ready to go in there and then as you add your fillings in, you can just sandwich it over and you've got your pasta dough. So that's one. And then you can do another. And then not quite enough there for three. So we're just gonna rinse and repeat. Flour. 
Oh, and as you can see, as I'm rolling it out, you can see the lovely green colour from the seasoning. And then again, there's your third one. I mean, just look at how perfect that looks. It looks absolutely amazing. And then again, now I normally get four out of this, so I'm sure I can now. And then we'll go a bit wide to this way, and that should be enough to make it with. Yep, perfect for another one. So, like that, and you've got your four. You've got a little bit left over and you could do this into a little Cornish pasty bomb if you wanted to. If you're making sweet pastry, then what I recommend you do instead is as well as the flour, the butter and the water, is that you also add 28 grams or one ounce of caster sugar to it and this is the caster sugar that I recommend you use and then for flowers I recommend you use the Biro brand so plain flour if you don't want any oomph to it I say oomph because if you use self-raising flour instead what it does is it puffs it up a bit so it makes it more like puff pastry and then also if you're going sweet what you can also add is you can add some dried seasonings of choice as well such as my favorite is to add some cinnamon nutmeg uh, some ground spice all of those work well in baking or you could even use some ginger if you're doing some baking at christmas time the choice is just totally yours so now you know the basics of our pastry especially for savory pastry the only difference we really do with the sweet is the addition of the sugar. So I've already uh, rubbed my fat into my flour and like I've already mentioned, I've used unsalted because it's so much better in sweet baking. And then we have the extra addition of a bit of caster sugar. So then add in your caster sugar and then you give it a mix around and you've got your sweet uh, dry ingredients there so now next you want to add some flour not flour what am i talking about water um a little bit at a time and then just use your hand around the bowl to get it mixed together this is how my grandma taught me how to make pastry i used to love watching her make a pastry She used to use a massive washing up bowl and do a massive batch of rock cakes. That was her favourite thing. My mum, who hasn't got a sweet tooth at all, always said, oh, I miss her rock cakes. And then, as you can see, coming together nicely. So let's do a little bit more water. Gets it a bit wet and then you can add it in the rest of it. If you want to know how to rescue your pastry, let's say it's too wet, then just add in a little bit extra flour and it'll soon come too. So as you can see there, this pastry's coming along brilliantly. What I'm just gonna do Add in a little bit more flour and then of course flour my hands and then you can just give it a nice knead in the bowl and grab all that flour it's dropped you've got perfect pastry and look, that's lovely sweet pastry that you can now roll out and use for Mars bars. And you can actually use the same pastry for some deep fried Oreos as well in the air fryer. 
thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the recipe this family you can find us on twitter facebook and pinterest we also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes what we're cooking in the milner kitchen and so much more as well as this we recommend that you subscribe to our youtube channel and then whenever we have a new video you will be the first to know and if you want to know about all our future videos then i recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications but even better we now have a podcast it's called magic with gadgets simply search magic with gadgets on your favorite podcast player and you'll find us there 